Hello everyone today we will start with a new topic boolean logic this is chapter 3 in uh, surita arora's uh, computer science for class 11 book and the topics we will be looking today it's boolean algebra logical operations logical operands and in that not or and now we will look at boolean algebra or boolean logic it's the same thing boolean algebra it's a branch of algebra where the values it deals with is either 1 or 0 or we can also say true or false and this is mainly used in digital circuits uh, and uh, because digital circuits deals with uh, ones and zeros and it, that's why it is also called as switching algebra and uh, to understand it further now let us look at few questions are you in 11th grade the answer for this will be either true or false or yes or no and let us look at the next question is 13 minus 2 uh, is equal to 11 the answer for this is yes or we can say it is true so the values true or false are called the truth values and uh, we can say that true which is equal to 1 and false which is equal to 0 are also called as logical constants the sentence which can be determined to be true or false these are called as logical statements or truth functions so here are you in 11th grade is a logical statement or truth function and the decision which results in either true or false and these are called as binary decisions because it's either 1 or 0 so 1 uh, and 0s are binary numbers this decision is known as binary decision and uh, just like an algebraic uh, uh, expression has a variable this boolean algebra also has boolean variables or logical variables or binary valued variables and these variables can store either true or false or in other words we can say it stores either 1 or 0 let us look at few more definitions logical operations these are specific operations that can be applied on the truth functions and uh, the operands which can be used on this are and or and not and uh, what is a compound statement or logical function uh, we will see that these are formed when the logical statement or truth functions are combined with the help of the logical operators and uh, we can say and as an example a uh, 13 minus 2 is equal to 11 not 10 here not not is the logical operator and uh, what is a logical expression we can say it is formed when logical variables like x y z and logical constants like 0 and 1 are combined using logical operands like not or and etc so now let us look at a uh, few examples here the first one is x not y or z here not and or are the logical operands x and y and z are the logical variables the next one is y and x or z and and r are the logical operands y and y x and z are the logical variables now let us try to understand truth table with an example i want to have a t condition 1 t is readily available condition 2 i will have t is the result so when the condition 1 i w- i want to have t is true t is readily available condition 2 is true i will have t the result becomes true and uh, the next case i want to have t uh, that is true and t is not readily available so condition 2 is false i will not have t so the result becomes false now the next case i don't want to have a t so condition 1 becomes false t is readily available so condition 2 is true so even though t is readily available i don't want to have t so i will not have t so the result becomes false and the next case i don't want to have t and that is condition 1 so uh, that becomes false t is not readily available so condition 2 also becomes false so uh, since both are like i don't want to have a t t is not readily available 
so the result will be i will not be having t and that also becomes false so this is called as the truth table and we can represent it in form of x and y variables like the logical variables x and y and uh, it is represented here um, so you can see that i want to have a t becomes x t is readily available becomes y and the result becomes r and uh, you can see that the t t f f from condition 1 becomes 1100 and t f t f of condition 2 becomes 1010 and result r t f f f becomes 1000 so this is what we call as a uh, truth table and uh, we will see more of this in the further videos and by this we can define truth table as a truth table represents all possible values of logical variables slash statements along with all possible results of the given combination of values so we will also look at two other definitions uh, tautology if the result of any logical statement or expression is always true uh which is like you know r1 for all the input combinations it is called as tautology so if uh, the x and y combination always produces a result one then that is called as tautology and fallacy if the result of any logical statement or expression is always false or zero for all the input combination it is called as fallacy so for any combination of x and y if the result is always zero it's going to be called as fallacy now let us look at the not operator the not operator operates on a single variable and the operation performed by the not operator is called as the complementation and the symbol we use for it is the bar uh, which will be like this like uh, a bar on top of x as given here and uh, since not operator is a boolean operator uh, there are only two possible values like 0 and 1 uh so the complement operation can be defined it's quite simply as the complement of 0 is 1 and the complement of 1 is 0 so in other words if we represent this in form of venn diagram we can say that if this circle is x anything outside of this other than the circle will be x complement so from this we can derive the truth table for the not operator like if x is 0 and 1 x bar will be 1 and 0 the not operator can also be represented in these two ways but commonly we will be using the bar symbol so from now on uh, any use of the not operator we will represent that with the bar symbol on top of the boolean variable the next important operator in boolean algebra is the or operator and uh, this operation uh, is known as the logical addition and the symbol we use for it is plus and uh, this symbol does not have the normal addition meaning uh, it is a logical addition or it can also be told as logical or statement so x plus y we, we should read it as x or y and uh, the possible combinations of input and output we can say that 0 or 0 is equal to 0 0 or 1 is equal to 1 1 or 0 is equal to 1 and 1 or 1 is equal to 1 so uh, you can also see the venn diagram representation of this x or y and the truth table is given for the values of x 0 0 1 1 and the values of y 0 1 0 1 or y will give the result 0 1 1 1 you can notice that when any one of x and y is 1 x or y is 1 and uh, there are multiple symbols used for this representation but generally uh, from now on we will use that plus symbol or the r the next one is the and operator the and operator performs the important boolean uh, operation in called the logical multiplication and the symbol for and operation is the dot and so x dot y will be read as x and y and the rules for this operation are 
zero and zero we get zero zero and one we get zero one and zero we get zero one and one we get one and uh, you can uh, see the venn diagram for it and the shaded portion represents x and y and uh, the truth table for it uh, we can see that for the values of x 0 0 1 1 and the values of y 0 1 uh, 0 1 the result x and y we get 0 0 0 1 and you can also note that only when both x and y are 1 then x dot y x and y has the result 1. So now we are done with uh, today's topics and for the next set of topics under Boolean Algebra, we will uh, continue in the next uh, upcoming videos. Thank you.